Hi, I'm Amy from Temptations Intimate Photography. I'm a boudoir photographer located in Tamworth, New South Wales, Australia, and I would like to share my top five tips to getting ready for your boudoir session. Tip number one is to do your nails, your fingernails, your toenails, those nails. I recommend going with a neutral colour, like um, nudes and things like that. Because if you have bright green, you don't want to look back on your photos and be like, why is that the only thing I can see? <laughs> so definitely recommend go with a neutral nude sort of colour that complements your outfits. It'll go with everything so you don't have to worry about clashing um, or them just standing out too much. Tip number two, get your hair done. If you're somebody who regularly gets your hair done, I recommend getting in your final appointment for your session about a week, a week and a half max before your session. That way it is nice and fresh, it, you feel the best, and you know how your hair works. If you don't normally get your hair done, I don't recommend going out and doing something crazy right before your session. You might regret it and I don't want you to, that to be the reason you don't like your photos. Tip number three, create a mood board. About a week and a half from your session, you want to send this mood board to your photographer. I recommend jumping on Pinterest and Google and just finding images that resonate with you. Um, things you might like is the poses, the hair, the makeup, the lighting, if they're black and white, if they're color, just things like that. Have a look, see what you like and send that to your photographer. That will help them to determine what um, they need to do to make that session more you. Tip number four, ensure that everything fits and that you've removed all tags from your outfit. And I don't just mean price tags, I mean sightseeing tags too. They are always the last thing I see when I'm editing a photo and I'm like, mm, should have cut that one off. So please, please remove them prior to your session so we don't have to worry about that. You want to make sure all of your outfits fit correctly. You don't want them to be too loose. You don't want them to be too tight. You want to be able to breathe and you need to be able to move. If you cannot move, you cannot do any of the poses that we need to do for your session. Tip number five is to make sure you stretch um, in the week leading up to your session. And I don't mean you need to do like a whole yoga routine or start Pilates or go to the gym or anything like that. I just recommend doing some stretches that will warm up your back because you're going to be doing lots of arching um, and lots of like using lots of muscles that you don't usually use in your day-to-day -day life. So I want them to be prepared so you're not too sore in the aftermath. Um, a good way to do this is to practice some of those poses that you find on Pinterest and Google. Do that back arch on the floor, lean up against a wall, arch that back and pop that booty like there is no tomorrow. Because those are the sort of things that you will be doing throughout your session and I guarantee you will feel it later if you do not stretch. Thank you so much for watching. This is my first YouTube video, as you can see on my channel. Um, I promised myself this year that I would get out of my comfort zone and do things that make me uncomfortable. And this makes me very, very uncomfortable, if you cannot tell. But <laughs> um, if you have any recommendations on videos you would like me to do, please drop them in the comments below. And I would appreciate it if you could please subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.